all right people what's going on so this is renegade albert and i couldn't stay away i just couldn't stay away from doing an inevitable breakdown video on the devil may cry 5 recent trailer that just came out i believe this is the final trailer that's being presented so i wanted to do a quick low energy reaction because if you guys aren't well aware i'm a bit tired right now i'm not gonna lie it's fucking guerrilla style warfare up in this bitch and i wanted to do a breakdown reaction anyway because now is as good a time as ever considering that it's going to be loud in the afternoon uh so i'm going to preface and say that this video will also contain spoilers the final trailer for dmc5 will contain massive spoilers for people going into this blind and there will be even more massive spoilers at the end of the video which i will you know sort of give a alert give a indication for but if you're going into this game and you want to be not spoiled by anything of the sort then i don't recommend watching this video breakdown at all i'm sorry that's how it is but enough of me jabbering let's get right into the mix and start the breakdown shall we So the first thing to note here is that the Timon Negru style tree, well actually this kicks Timon Negru's ass. Look how tall this thing is. The demon tree is affecting the troposphere and this just shows how dire the situation is. So we got some more dire points here. So we have Shin Devil Trigger, as they call it now, I believe uh, Dante's Majin form got renamed into Shin Devil Trigger, Sin Devil Trigger. I don't know the story there completely, but that's what they're calling it now. They're not calling it Majin anymore, but essentially it is Dante's Devil May Cry to demon form when he goes uh, full desperation devil trigger DT. Uh, I know I just like overcomplicated that, but once again, I am tired. Uh, this mechanic occurs only when Dante is at low health, I believe, in Devil May Cry 2, and he's super powerful, and he wrecks fucking everything. So it's interesting to know why he went into this form, but I guess... It's not really too complicated to figure out. Urzen is really, I don't even know how to say his fucking name that much. Urzen, he's really completely just powerful. And we're gonna find out some connections at the end of the video. So that move right there, that looks like an enhanced roulette spin, maybe exceed level three. And you see some interesting stuff here with Dante using Trickster. And the most interesting part here outside of the new sword reveal, because that's clearly some form of a new weapon, an enhanced weapon, I assume maybe it could be a Reforged Rebellion. That's what I'm thinking because he has to access that form somehow. And I assume it's tied to this particular devil arm with the way that the art design for the sword is. It is brimming with orange and very, very demonic, just like Sparta. So this might be the reason why Dante gets that form that you see. It leaves like an after effect. He's using Kalina and to finish off those enemies. But the interesting thing there outside of the sword is actually Dante using red swords. Now, he did that with Lucifer, but this kind of looks like Dante's own variation of summon swords. And that's pretty badass. Also, the after hits for that new sword, it is amazing, fam. It is incredible. I, I love that. A double launcher with both of those enemies, that's how strong it is. 
That's some decayed ruins, some nice interiors. That is one of the bosses they showed off. He's very immobile though. Let's get a good look at him. There's a giant red signal on his back and obviously you attack that weak point during the boss fight. I see Nero fight him. I'm not sure about the other characters, but he looks kind of easy in my opinion. Little V and Nero. Years in now that dialogue there, years in told Nero, you will regret being born useless and human. Factor that at the end of the video because it's going to be very important for the massive spoilers bits. There's Trish saving V, V doing his finishing move. Now, this is where the hype begins. You have this giant blast of light, like a fucking Dragon Ball Super Broly move, just erupting into the sky. Nero's blown back, Dante's blown back, and then the atmosphere gets very fucking chilling. Like you have these glass-like partitions coming down, fucking the heavens up. And then Nero stunned. Dante's like, what is this? And you have your first glimpse of Virgil in his human form, I assume, or I'm not gonna talk about that yet, but there's gonna be some connections later on. But yes, we have a Virgil reveal at the end of this, which is very, very hype. Now this part was interesting. A lot of people said that this sequence right here was Eva stowing away Virgil. And I don't believe that's the case because listen to what she says. If I don't return, you must run by yourself, alone. You must change your name, forget your past and start a new life. It pans from Dante and she talks about like changing his name, starting a new life, etc. So I think at this point she's talking directly to a younger version of Dante because the novels, they're starting to make them very, very canon to the story arcs. And if you remember correctly, Dante's alias is Tony Redgrave. I don't remember Virgil having to go out of his way and change his name at all. So I believe this is Dante she's stowing away and they're going to show more glimpses of the past as you're seeing now. Also, I guess the story is kind of tragic because maybe Eva didn't want this life for Dante. She wanted him to live peaceful and instead he chose to slay demons, which leads to this giant cataclysm of events. Because remember in the uh, other trailers, V says uh, Dante is the reason why he exists for some reason. Like he says, if only you never existed, then maybe implying that Dante caused his creation to some extent. Maybe, maybe, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, you had Dante wrapped up. I, I don't know when the time of events for this is because the first time he fights Yurzen, he gets defeated and rebellion shatters. Now he has Sparta, so I'm not sure. I guess Trish threw him Sparta and it didn't work. So that might actually be where he first gets defeated, but it's a longer sequence. He gets blown away. And then Trish and Lady gets kidnapped. This is a little bit interesting, but we talked about this in the last breakdown. V's dying, definitely dying. Look at his face. He looks all corroded and fading away 
Um, we still don't know the case for this, but I assume once again, V's body cannot be sustained because before we were introduced to the idea that V he's crumbling because he needs to kill demons. I assumed last time that maybe it's because at this point he hasn't killed any demons. So this is the reason for his crumbling away method as you see here. He has one last request. Here's Dante looking at a naked Trish, I believe, because that was in the leaks before. Like Trish is like butt ass naked. Looks like we still got a long ways to go. There's the pair. It gets really emotional with this music. I think that's what they're going for. They want this emotional, visceral punch. Uh, to resonate with the fans with fan service and also to show that yes, this might be the end of an era for the Sons of Sparta legacy and The song here indicates a lot of this. It talks about legacy legacy They show a lot of characters here and they show Nero as the forefront So he might carry on the legacy of Sparta and here's the imminent devil trigger um that's reminiscent to the logo so i knew something was up with that logo it seems that nero shoots out some form of plasma wings i don't know how his full dt will factor into that but i assume that's part of the uh, model is the plasma wings it's probably gonna look interesting in combat too. I don't think he's gonna have the stand, the Jojo stand that he has in DMC4. So it's gonna be interesting to see him accomplish a full form. There's the release date, March 8th, 2019. And there is the man himself, Virgil, appearing to be all black, tinted in black. It's, it's like, it's like his original costume design. You can clearly see that, but I don't know if it's the shadows or if Capcom wants to trick your mind, but I think he's wearing like a black gray color palette here. Oh, this was the money shot. I believe, you know, it's kind of reminiscent to how Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition, they had Virgil as the money shot when they decided to reveal that and they put it at the tail end of the devil may cry reboot definitive edition trailer which i mean that game is meh in my opinion i'm sure some people will agree disagree but i wasn't that big of a fan to be honest so when i saw virgil i'm like you know instant purchase here's my money take my foreign wife take everything fam Anyway, here's the massive spoilers part. So I'm going to warn people now, this will indeed put some correlations with the game, with what's being said. If you're not planning to go into Devil May Cry dry and you wanna just get the spoilers out of the way, just continue watching, that's fine if you don't care. If you do care, click off the video now, just letting you know. And here you are your poor poultry ass decided to ruin devil may cry for yourself no i'm kidding if you want to stay like i said that's cool but this part needs to be talked about because one of the songwriters and let me make sure i'm recording really quickly i don't want to fuck this up but one of the songwriters jeff rona he was a songwriter or a producer on crimson cloud he mentioned one Pacific line that I'm not sure he had awareness when he was talking about this, that it might be confidential information, that it might be massive spoilers, but here we go. I quote, he said, my role was to create the battle themes for Dante and Virgil, who we always simply call V. There you have it, people. I think the Moondis theories, they might get shoved out the window. I think everything else that people have been speculating for weeks, except for the V and Virgil correlation because hashtag same first initials. 
that is coming into the light now. He said that he did battle themes for Dante and Virgil, who we simply call V. And it correlates V and Virgil together in some way. I don't know how Capcom and people who work for Capcom messed this up so bad, but there you have it. So I think what's going on now, and let's look at the other screen caps we have here. Um, here's a little bit of a chat with the people who produced the interview and they admit, you know, they didn't know that it was a spoiler and fans are, you know, sort of on this right now. Uh, the guy says right here, the spoiler isn't that Virgil isn't in the game. That was in today's trailer. The spoiler is that V and Virgil are the same character apparently. And that was a big goof. And here's a theory that I found interesting on GameFAQs. And he says, uh, he mentioned that Virgil's body is the King as seen by Nero in the Nero cutscene. Uh, to save himself, you know, Virgil splits himself somehow. V equals Virgil's human side. Yurzen equals Virgil's demon side. But they yearn to rejoin, and without his half, V starts decaying as seen in the trailer when he says, My last request. This is why you don't see V in part of the trailer where Nero and Dante are facing off against Virgil, even though V is among the three main characters. That is true. V is not present in that particular scene where Dante and Nero encounter Virgil with the glass shattering from the skies and everything else. Uh, so I think this is one of the more credible um, opinions about this massive leak from one of the songwriters. I do think that V might be the human side and I do think that Yurzen might be the demonic side. Yurzen, everyone has went through his voice with a voice changer and they found that he sounds similar to Daniel Southworth who voices Virgil and V is like, you know, he's he seems like he's just more lively but serious so maybe he does have those sort of characteristics that virgil has um you know we don't know yet until the game is out but i think like i said this was a massive massive drop of the ball with this interview that they had and they didn't know what was going on again i i do think that eventually both halves reignite somehow because it seems in the trailer they do that uh there's a lot of virgil shenanigans with his soul being displaced if you read the files of dmc4 so i can kind of really believe what's going on here uh again they could throw a curveball in the mix something could change but it seems more than likely that virgil's resurgence is going to be a big plot point when we reach probably i would say midpoint end of the game and then i don't know if he's going to be the true final boss or not but it seems like from all angles that i'm looking at with these trailers with urizen being the big bad then virgil being reignited I don't see how they would throw a spanner in the works unless Moondus came back out of nowhere. Uh, maybe that is Virgil's plan all along. Maybe he has a big plan going on. Who knows? Uh, but I think anything can happen. V does say a powerful demon is being resurrected. That definitely could mean Virgil. That definitely could probably mean Mundus. Maybe Virgil had a plan all along and his revival was important to this happening. Or maybe Virgil's is just the big bad of this particular iteration of Devil May Cry. I honestly think that it means that the V character is kind of pointless. It was Capcom's way of trying to introduce a new character into the mix only to bring back an older character that fans cared about more. So it makes V's inclusion just feel pointless only to get Virgil back. I think it would be a cooler idea if the Moodus theory did actually happen and Virgil plant this all out and V's spirit 
somehow resonated within Virgil to stop this greater threat with all three of the boys fighting. That would be awesome. Nero, Virgil, and Dante all fighting this big threat with V's humanity shining through Virgil since he's a part of him now. His human side is something that is important to the Devil May Cry mythos. Remember, they said that humans have something that demons don't and it's basically, you know, their heart and courageous nature that makes them very, very important to that whole philosophy. You know, even a devil can cry, stuff like that because of their human side, if they're a hybrid like Dante. I just want to hopefully think that this story will be good. Otherwise, this could be done in the most wrong way possible just to introduce a new character, have him as a vessel, and then have Virgil come back and have that character feel meaningless outside of the grand scheme of things, which is Virgil's fucking coming back, so that's hype. But I think they could have done that in a better way. I don't know. That's just my brain being all jumbled and introducing ideas. I think if all of this is true, then it needs to be a damn good reason as to why outside of Virgil coming back. It needs to be more to it than Virgil just being the stereotypical bad guy, in my opinion, of the story without any rhyme or reasoning behind it. I hope they explain it well. Anyway, people, I am Renegade Operative. I am signing out. I think I droned on about DMC long enough. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed my opinions about this final trailer breakdown. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my theories as well. All the evidence that I'm putting on the table, all the theories that I kind of agree with, disagree with, etc. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on March 8th, kicking some demon ass.